All right, I just want to do a quickie tear down of this saw. Um, it's a 357. It's a previous uh, previous video where I showed you how to uh, see get, get your saw going after you seized it. Um, this saw uh, has this ghost left has left the building essentially. After I got to start and run for a little bit, the freaking saw lost. Uh, I think I remember it was like 15 psi or something like that. So, in a previous video, I borrowed the carburetor off this saw to make an, that piece of shit through, thrifty blade off. Let's see if I can just take out this one screw. I must say, this saw does look like it's been road hard, put away wet. We can figure out what the hell, why the hell the saw decided to uh, blow up besides the missing the three fins right there. Okay. Yeah, you can see in there. Doesn't look too hot in there. Something went, went down there. It wasn't good either. One thing I realized also, you get a saw like this, you know it has a smoke cylinder. Step back, do yourself a favor, and actually do take it apart and put it in a box. Because if this thing has a uh, smoke crank in it, why order a, a jug kit when you know everything's going to be a, a miss? Okay, 
So. It doesn't look too bad in there. It's almost re I would reuse this if this wasn't the case right here. That's a done deal right there. I'm trying to look in here, see discoloration in there. I think I see something down there. Guess not. I don't know. I might just re reuse this jug. I'm going to talk to a few of the old timers that have been around uh, the rodeo a little bit longer than I have. Because um, it doesn't look too bad. So, yeah. So, what it looks like to me is I mean, either a gasket failure or. Just running straight gas through it. It's definitely in like a heat issue because the all the heat is on the exhaust side of the piston. If it was in like uh, it sucked crap into the intake, it'd be on the intake side. I know it makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, it's in here has a rat turn in it. Cool. But uh, yeah. Maybe I could just get away with putting a new piston in there. That'd be great. All right, anyway, till next time. And yes, I will show, if I do clean that cylinder up, I will show it. So I found the problem with the manifold, the white lean seized on us. I mean, I got the, I think I got the bore pretty clean. Too bad you can't see inside of it, but... Eh, it's pretty clean. Might need a little more touch-up, but... I found a white lean seized. It was this guy right here, just... Pretty much pretty loose so I'm gonna do the dirty secret replacing this with something like an 044 clamp or a, a 372 clamp just to squish it down and make it right so that's what I found little helpers in the shop making trouble so I gotta go and watch her you guys have a good one now